Okay, so this is a Billy Gibbons signature gold top Les Paul with um, the Gibson's VOS aging treatment. But in it, it's got two very unusual pickups which are made by Thomas Nilsson at Cream Tea Pickups in Norway. Um, these are effectively a humbucker made out of what is very similar to two um, telly neck pickups. These pickups were made at the suggestion of Keith Richards, who wanted um, a pickup of this spec built and had tried to have it made for many years and, and, and had struggled to get exactly what he wanted. And now Thomas has built him that pickup. And um, Keith uses his in a coil tapped configuration, um, but Billy Gibbons liked this pickup so much when he tried one that he's asked for Thomas to make him a full humbucker version, which is what we've got in this guitar. So the um, Billy Gibbons Les Paul that these pickups are fitted in is um, quite a heavily modified version of an ordinary Les Paul. Like. Um, it's heavily chambered, so this is quite a lot lighter than a, um, a Les Paul standard. Uh, it's also got no pickup selector, which you'll notice, so the pickups have to be balanced using the volume controls. So there's two volume controls and one um, master tone control, meaning that you can, uh, you can kind of get every shade of grey between neck pickup full on and no bridge pickup and the, and the complete opposite but you can't just switch between them as you would with a normal guitar. Uh, on this track we've used primarily bridge pickup and we've, we've dialed in a little bit of the neck just to sort of round things out and we, sonically we found them to be a little bit more transparent and a little bit less muddy than a standard kind of humbucker but they've still got plenty of clout and um, whilst they're not the hottest humbuckers we've ever tried, they've, they're very expressive and they're a really interesting variation on two classic pickup voices. Um, and you could summarise it as PAF meets Tele Neck Pickup. <laughs> <laughs>